Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tutorial on this look right now that I have on. This is a cheetah slash like cat video. This is like a cat, but it's like kind of like a cheetah, not really a cat. Kind of like both, kind of like I don't know what it is, but like it looks like a cat, kind of, if that makes sense. Anyways, so um, I wanted to do this video because I love a good classic cat or like a mouse or something i feel like everyone thinks they're basic but i don't think so i think that they're so classic and i don't think that they ever get old because i feel like no one wants to be a cat like no one's like i want to be a cat for halloween because it's like basic but like it's not basic like i love it anyways so a lot of my friends are in college i'm in college too but like i don't dorm so i don't like hear about all the parties and like everything so i never go but a lot of my friends do, and I know they're always trying to find last-minute costumes and stuff like that. So I feel like this is perfect for that. Um, I got this bodysuit at Windsor. Basically, I just bought the bodysuit, and I was like, oh my god, that would be such a cute Halloween costume. So I bought the bodysuit. definitely going to be wearing this, like, all year round. Not all year round, but, like, for the fall and for the winter. Like, I really like the cheetah print. I don't know. Anyways, if you want to see how I created this look and also how I did my hair into, like, the two little ears... Then just keep on watching. All right, I'm gonna do my hair first just to get that out of, out of the way. Basically, I don't have any cat ears, so um, I thought it'd be fun to just do something fun with my hair. So I just basically parted my hair in the middle. All right, so I'm just gonna grab like a little section right here, like this. I just basically made, made like a little um, square. All right, so I'm just gonna twist the hair and create two little buns. You can kind of do this however you want. I'm just gonna play around with it and kind of see what I like. it for the hair um i think it looks cute and it looks better i to me it looks better than like basic cat ears okay i know i look crazy but <laughs> i have bangs so i have to clip them back okay so i'm basically just priming my eyelids i also put tape on the sides of my eyes because we're going to be creating like a smoked out wing type of thing type of situation so it's a lot easier with the tape so i really recommend it it leaves like a really nice clean look okay so i just set my concealer and i'm going to be using today the modern renaissance palette to create this look but you can use any eyeshadow palette for this it works as long as there's like some oranges and browns this will work um so i'm just going to take a little angled brush like this and that's what i'm basically going to use for the whole look as well as just a few like fluffy brushes just to kind of blend everything out I'm gonna go in with just a transition color. So I'm gonna use burnt orange, which is right here. Basically just kind of putting this everywhere, all in the crease. I'm not really focusing it anywhere special. Okay, so I'm just taking this little brush right here and I'm gonna start going in with an orange color. Okay, so basically with this orange color, I'm just creating a little base for the eyeliner just so it's not like too harsh. So I do this tape method all the time, but I usually only bring the eyeshadow till about like this point right here. But since we are going for a Halloween look, we're trying to look more dramatic, I'm going to bring it all the way up to where the tape ends. So basically, I'm just going to concentrate everything on my lash line and just gradually go to darker eyeshadow colors. Okay, so I took off the contacts. They were just not doing it for me. They were super uncomfortable. If you could do it, I would definitely wear contacts. I think it looks really nice, but no, just not for me. Looks like after I took off the tape, so it does look super dramatic, but that is the goal. We're gonna blend it out a little bit more. Okay, so I just dipped into my highlight and I basically just kind of like patted it all through my eyelid. So it's not super opaque, but it's just kind of like 
a nice dash of glitter on top. So now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay Precision Pervision, Pervision Eyeliner. Usually I only do my eyeliner right to here and I do a little wing, but today I'm gonna do it a lot more dramatic. I'm gonna bring it all the way to my inner corner and I'm gonna try and do like a more of like a dramatic look for my eyeliner since we are a little cat. Okay, the hard part has come. I have to do it all the way inside. Oh my god, I'm so scared. For the inside part, I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay. I feel like this little application thing makes it so much easier. I don't know why. Is it even even? Okay, so now I'm gonna do my eyelashes. I suck at doing my eyelashes, oh my god. I'm using Lily Lashes, which I'm so excited about. They're my favorite lashes, but if only I knew how to put them on, that would be amazing. So I did my eyelashes, I'm doing my foundation now, and I'm also gonna do my concealer, but that I'm all gonna do. That I'm all gonna do as I normally do it. So I'm not really like changing anything up. Alright, so I haven't set anything. This is all still like all cream makeup. I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm gonna use this to contour. I'm gonna contour a little bit heavier than I usually would. I like the bronze look. I feel like I just put it kind of all over my cheeks and it just kind of gave me a more bronzy look. It's like baking basically under my eyes. Yes, I'm baking under my eyes. All right, so I'm just letting my powder sit there and bake and do its thing. And while it does that, I'm just using the Hula Bronzer to just set the um, concealer that we put on under here, like the bronzy. So now I'm finishing up the eyes and I'm just taking the same colors that I use on the top of my lid and I'm just running that on my bottom lash line. And I'm also just kind of blending everything out and making sure everything looks good and like nice and blended so now i'm just putting on eyeliner on my waterline i'm gonna add some blush this is nars deep throat i really like this one um i really like orange blush but i feel like for this costume it just looks better pink i use the huda beauty 3d highlighter makeup palette i got this um like a year and a half ago when I went to prom well from my senior year like when I graduated and I just like never used it again so basically it just has like a little cream like the little base and then you put this on and then this I've been filming for the longest time it's 4 15 a.m. I don't know yes it's 4 15 a.m. I'm insane love cream highlighters because I feel like they just like sink into your skin and it makes it look so like glowy but it's not like glittery like i low-key like this by itself but i want to do all of it so now the part that we have all been waiting for and the easiest part i think this is the easiest part so this is the nose and the little whiskers and everything i honestly feel like everything else like really makes it look like a cat like the little ears going on and the eyes so it's not just like the little nose. Like I'm kind of tr trying to show you guys like I always see girls with like the little nose and the whiskers but they never do anything extra. So I know this is a basic costume. Like you'll see it every year. You'll see it everywhere. But you just have to make it your own and make it cool and make it cute. Okay, so now I'm just going to make the nose and I like to do a little heart but you can do anything you want. You can do a little circle or you can like color all of your nails i know people do that i like to just do a little a little black heart once i get the nose or the little heart however i want it to be now i'm going to do the whiskers so for the whiskers i start off with little dots right here and then i'll do the whiskers and this just adds more detail. Like the more detail you add, I feel like the cooler it looks. I'm just gonna do three little lines going up, basically. It's not 
is a big deal. <laughs> I'm kind of, no, I'm kidding. I'm scared to do it. I feel like I'm gonna ruin it. I'm not 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 gonna ruin it. All right, so now that I'm done with that, um, I'm gonna add one more thing. This is optional. I feel like this, if you wanna do it, you could. If not, it's fine. It's not like it's gonna make a huge difference, but I feel like it makes a nice little, a nice little touch, so. But I know it's a little extra, you know? Anyways, all right, so I'm just gonna do a little line right here. Okay, so I just did that little line, and then now I'm just gonna start lining my top lip. I'm gonna start lining my top lip with black. Okay, so I just outlined my top lip. Now I'm just gonna use, um, what is this? This is Malibu by Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm gonna use this to line the bottom of my lip. I'm gonna take um, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. I love to use this, I use this every day. And I'm just gonna fill my bottom lip. Um, but I'm also just kind of bringing it into the black on the top lip. And I'm just kind of making it look like an ombre, I guess. You don't have to do this. I feel like you can kind of look for inspiration in a whole bunch of places and kind of make your own look. Or you can follow this look. I really like This is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I don't know. I feel like I just kind of did my own little twist on the regular cat look. I think that being a cat never gets old for Halloween. I think it's always cute. It's sexy. I think it's so hot. I don't know. I love it. Um, I love the hair. I think it's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. Oh my god. 4.30 a.m. That's insane. By the way, just in case you guys are wondering, the bodysuit that I'm wearing right now is actually from Windsor. Um, they have a lot of cute things that are not exactly like costumes, but I feel like you can make it into a costume.